First reading, Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 2 to 3, 2 to verse 2 to 4. How long, Yahweh, am I to cry for help while you will not listen, to cry, violence, in your ear while you will not save? Why do you make me see wrongdoing? Why do you countenance oppression? Plundering and violence confront me, contention and discord flourish. Then Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision down, inscribe it on tablets to be easily read, for the vision is for its appointed time, it hastens towards its end, and it will not lie, although it may take some time, wait for it, for come it certainly will before too long, you see, anyone whose heart is not upright will succumb, but the upright will live through faithfulness. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms chapter 95 verse 1 to 2, 6 to 7, 8 to 9. Come, let us cry out with joy to Yahweh, acclaim the rock of our salvation, let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, acclaim him with music. Come, let us bow low and do reverence, kneel before Yahweh who made us, for he is our God, and we the people of his sheepfold, the flock of his hand. If only you would listen to him today, do not harden your hearts as at Meribah, as at the time of Massa in the desert, when your ancestors challenged me, put me to the test, and saw what I could do. Gospel, Luke chapter 17 verse 5 to 10 The apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The Lord replied, If you had faith like a mustard seed you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you, which of you, with a servant plowing or minding sheep, would say to him when he returned from the fields, come and have your meal at once, would he not be more likely to say, get my supper ready, fasten your belt and wait on me while I eat and drink. You yourself can eat and drink afterwards, must he be grateful to the servant for doing what he was told, so with you. When you have done all you have been told to do, say, We are useless servants, we have done no more than our duty. Second reading, 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 6 to 8, 13 to 14. That is why I am reminding you now to fan into a flame the gift of God that you possess through the laying on of my hands. God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but the spirit of power and love and self-control so you are never to be ashamed of witnessing to our Lord, or ashamed of me for being his prisoner, but share in my hardships for the sake of the gospel, relying on the power of God, keep as your pattern the sound. Teaching you have heard from me, in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus, with the help of the Holy Spirit who dwells in us, look after that precious thing given in trust.